Welcome to Midway Power Sports, located in the heart of the Ozarks in Spokane, Missouri. Today I'm bringing you our 2007 Chevy Silverado 1500. It's an LT crew cab, short bed, four wheel drive. Just pulled it out of that icy spot right there, folks. Uh, just to shoot this video, this will be a cold start and all that good stuff. Really didn't want to try to fall down, walk around the ice. Although you guys might like it for the video, I don't know. These, do these videos just for a better introduction to our, our stuff. You get to see us put our hands on it. Since you can't from, from watching on the computer, maybe it's not convenient on your lunch break. It's why we do this. It does have a set of four matching tires, evenly worn. And to uh, see all the details, please go to uh, MidwayPowerSports.com. Have any questions about the this truck or uh, want assistance with purchasing this vehicle? Give our sales staff a call at area code 417-443-2300. We are knowledgeable and and uh, more than happy to assist with uh, any questions or or with purchase. All right. Got my keys right here in the pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's locked. There's a remote start. Vortec V8, and this is the 5.3 liter. Really nice, clean truck, folks. I've just I've gone over this truck from top to bottom. I don't know if you can really see this in the video, but looking towards the back of that firewall, it's really really clean. Um, you can just tell this has not been a dirt road truck. Um, popping the hood and looking down in there is is, is where you really notice. Um, not been a dirt road truck, not been a work truck, or used or abused. Um, very well taken care of truck. Um, I would assume a garage kept truck for how just nice and shiny this paint is and not scratched up. Um, looking underneath this truck, I mean there's no mud packed up in there or um, any signs of uh, um, salty roads or anything like that. Down here by the exhaust. Nice, quiet factory exhaust. You can still hear that V8 power though, sounds good. Let's go ahead and hop in this thing. Do you have the uh, power mirrors with the uh, integrated uh, turn signals? As you can see, there's our wipers. Horn. Here's our cruise control, hands-free talking, and uh, stereo controls. Let's go ahead and turn this on. There's some music if you're a country fan. Uh, here's your uh, volume controls here. Okay. We also have your uh, dual climate controls, uh, his and hers, if you will. Um, uh, put it on one or you can also you know put it on passenger uh, and have separate temperature there here's your traction controls dual power outlets um, really nice to have uh, four wheel drive it isn't too high right now you got to auto four high four low uh, here's your tow haul um, do have OnStar and the uh, power mirror so it's uh, just flipped up to 48 degrees right now Vanities, vanities on uh, both sides. I guess I can hop back out real quick and show you. There's a power seat. Does work very well, just like it's supposed to. Alright, folks. Go ahead and 
ahead and apply my seat belt. We'll take it down the road for a quick spin. Again, any questions that maybe I'm overlooked in these videos, guys, I'm not professional with these videos. We do these just for a um, more confident buying experience. Um, so you folks at home can, we, we sell it to a lot of people over the internet. What was really neat, if you saw this in the pictures, I'm not going to get it all out right now again, but um, there's a bunch of receipts in here from a service that's been performed on the truck. There's the original window sticker in there. Um, there's only one reason that that would be in this truck, and that's because the previous owner uh, really cared about this truck. And uh, thought a lot of this truck. There's, there's a lot to be said about a vehicle that's been uh, loved and cared for. You will notice right now as I'm taking this for a test drive, it does have 145,564 miles. There is one light on the dash. Uh, it's a simple fix. It's your tire indicator light. Um, we just have had some obvious recent snow and ice uh, weather changes here. Um, a, one, a pound or two air can really affect the uh, uh, tire sensors on these trucks. Um, you know, they are battery operated. More than likely, you can go by any tire shop. 90% uh, of the time, I notice they just need reset um, or it could uh, need replaced. Um, that is a simple, uh, common fix on all these newer vehicles. Um, I don't have a local tire shop here that I've ran it to yet, um, but I will look into getting that done. And uh, be glad to, again, glad to answer any questions as far as that goes. We're going to go ahead and pull out on the road here and take this for a quick spin. So we got really good oil pressure, good voltage, good temp. We'll go ahead and let go of the wheel. Tracking nice and straight down the road. Let me show you that one more time. I'm not not hanging on to the steering wheel or anything. This is driving really nice and smooth. No wind noise, no uh, um, vibrations or um, shimmies or shakes or anything that I need to tell you about. I've got my brake brake pedal applied. Nice firm brake pedal. It's not pulsating or uh, uh, vibrating or any, anything that a brake pedal shouldn't be doing. It was it was smooth and firm. Transmission was smooth and firm. Let's go ahead and get turned around here real quick. Now, just so you folks know, we do offer uh, uh, assistance with transporting a vehicle to you. Um, if you plan on picking it up, you're more than welcome. Uh, have a friend drive you on down, or if you want to fly into one of our local airports, we will do a courtesy pickup. And the four-wheel drive uh, works great. I have already used it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you for the video. It's in too high right now. Just go ahead and turn it over to four high. You'll see it blink. Go solid. And I can just go ahead and I can feel those rear tires grabbing. Front, the front was uh, working nice and smooth there. Four low, still put it in neutral. Right down to four low. See it blink. Go solid. And when you do put it in the full drive, the full load, the traction control does come off. That is standard uh, procedure there. Let's see if we can get the windows down so you guys can tell this is working. Go put it back in neutral. Go ahead and put it back in uh, two-wheel drive.
folks, again, this has been Midway Power Sports, MidwayPowerSports.com, 417-443-2300. This has been our 2007 Chevy Silverado LT Crew Cab Short Bed 4-Wheel Drive, powered by the 5.3-liter Vortec. You've seen the pictures. You've seen the video. Again, call us with any questions, and any of our sales team will be more than happy to assist you with purchase. Folks, I hope you enjoyed our video. We look forward to your call. Have a great day.